Hey guys, welcome back. So I've been thinking of a new way to start out my videos and I'm going to just throw in some random fact about me. So a random fact that you all don't know about me. I used to play clarinet and bass clarinet all through grade school, like through elementary school, middle school, and high school. Last Wednesday, I posted this picture on Instagram of all three of these makeup palettes and I asked you guys which one of these you would like to see a tutorial on. Most of you guys said that you wanted to see the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshell Walking on Eggshells trio, um, a tutorial done on that one first. But honestly, the votes, it was so close that I'm gonna film tutorials on the other two palettes as well. This Friday, I will have a tutorial on the chocolate bar palette, so if you are one of my subscribers that have been wanting to see some more tutorials with that palette, I will have that video up on Friday. But today, I'm just going to show you a tutorial with the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. So if you'd like to see how to get this makeup look, just keep on watching the video and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I went ahead and did my foundation and filled in my eyebrows. And I also went ahead and primed my eyelids with my Fergie Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna go in first with the Sigma E40 brush and I'm gonna grab this middle color here on this brush. And I'm just going to put that in the crease of my eye. Then I'm just going to go in with the Sigma E25 blending brush, get some more of this middle brown color on this brush. And then I'm just going to work it here in the outer V, just like in little circular motions. And then just kind of take it up into the crease. Next, I'm just gonna go in with the Sigma F70 brush. It's just the concealer brush, and I'm gonna get some more of the same brown, and I'm gonna run it here on the lower lash line, just to kind of connect this color up top to the lower lash line. And then I'm just gonna go with my ring finger, just kind of over this color, on like the outer V area and just like tap it to kind of blend this out. I like to do this because it helps to kind of diffuse the color a little bit if it looks a little too like harsh right there. Kind of like my trick to blend out eyeshadow like that. Next I'm going to go in with the E60 brush which is the large shader brush by Sigma and I'm going to get some of this bottom color on this brush. And this bottom color here is a dupe for Urban Decay's Sin. So if, you know, you're one of those people that like to know dupes on drugstore products, this is a dupe for Sin. And I'm just going to pat this color all over my eyelid and take it up to the crease. Then I'm just gonna go back with some more of this brown on the E25 blending brush and I'm just going to lightly take it in the crease right here just to make sure it's blended where it meets the lid. Then I'm just gonna go in with the E70 brush and this top color here in this little trio. And I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Next, I'm just going to line my waterline with the Wet n Wild On Edge Long Wearing Eye Pencil in the color Space Cake, which is just a dark brown. And I'm also gonna line my tight line 
with the same pencil. And I'm just going to go in with my Jordana Fabi Liner in the color brown for my liquid liner on my upper lash line. decided to change it up today and I'm going to use this NYX matte bronzer in the color light. It just looks like this. And I'm going to use my Real Techniques large, I keep calling it large but it's not large. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques powder brush to apply this. And then I am going to do my lipstick today before I do my blush, but I'm going to use one of the L'Oreal Lilacs, and this is in the color Lackey Charm. And it's, I've never really used, well, I've never used this color in a tutorial yet, so I thought that this would be a good time to use it. It's kind of like a darker, pinky, mauve nude. This is just one of those great everyday colors of when you want to wear something neutral but darker. I really think this is pretty with this eye look. And then for my blush, I'm just going to use this Milani Baked Blush in the color Bella Rosa. And it's just a really pretty like reddish pink blush. You don't need a lot of this product because it is very pigmented. I'm just going to use my Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to get a little bit of this blush on there knock off the excess like as you can see this blush is so pigmented I might have to like knock some of the excess off on the back of my hand so like as you can see like it's so pigmented I'll probably have to go back in with my um, elf kabuki blush or brush and <laughs> blend it out a little bit That's why I don't use this blush real often, just because it is so pigmented for me. Um, if you have a really dark skin tone or if you like really pigmented blushes, this is a great one. Um, it is one of my favorites from Milani. And then since I do have quite a bit of shimmer going on right here um, for my brow bone highlight, I'm just going to use a really light highlighting product, like something that's not super shimmery. And this is just my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade um, Reserve Your Cabana. And I'm just going to lightly dust that here on the tops of my cheekbones just to highlight a little bit. I don't want anything like too super intense because of the highlight with my eyes. I hope that you did enjoy this makeup tutorial. If you did, please let me know down in the comments or thumbs up the video. And if you would like to see a different look with this little trio, let me know down in the comments. This is just the look I normally go for whenever I use this palette. Um, I know it's basically exactly what it has written on the eyeshadows, like lid color, crease color, brow bone. So I didn't get like super creative with this. Um, so if you would like to see a different tutorial with these eyeshadows, let me know down in the comments. And don't worry, I am still going to be doing tutorials with these other two palettes, um, with the Maybelline The Nudes and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Um, it was very close, like on what you guys wanted, but the um, Walking on Eggshells seemed to have the most before I filmed this, so that's why I picked that one first. Um, on Friday, I will post the chocolate bar palette tutorial, so just come back on Friday for this tutorial. But I hope that you all have an awesome day, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video from me. And I will see you all in my next video, and I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye, guys.
Mwah.